What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with the final TLC creature from the TLC update and it is the Trike and hands down this is my favourite TLC creature out of a lot of them just because I'm a huge lover of the Trike and I'm biased but this guy looks insane. This guy looks what a Trike should have looked like when the game first came out to be honest with you. He looks absolutely intimidating and formidable. His crest has received huge changes. He's obviously a lot bigger now. His crest is bigger, his horns are bigger, and slightly streamlined, which is great. Now, he has received a model update, which is what we've just been talking about. Animation update, texture update, and some new abilities. Now, the textures as well, you can see they're a lot different. They're a lot scaly-like than they were before. Before, they were just kind of gross and yucky, but now the strike look absolutely amazing. I love its horns, I love its crest, it looks absolutely badass, its face looks absolutely adorable, it's everything we all ever wanted. Alrighty, so now that we've gone over its quick model update and whatnot, let's get into some of its new abilities. Now, its stats and all that are completely the same, however, it has received a new ability. Now, much like the Woolly Rhino and the Giga, the Trike has received a new Rage Bar. Although, I wouldn't call it a Rage Bar, more of a Stampede Bar. You can see just under our level, we've got the little red circle thing, I guess you could say, that's so famous for being with the Giga. And essentially what this does is it lets you do a Ram Attack. Now, this carries on for as long as you've got the charge. The longer you charge it for, the faster you go. Now, an extra added bonus of this ability is that it has the ability to incapacitate the creature you charge. You saw there that Alpha Raptor just got absolutely... KO'd because it had no idea what to do against the trike. Now, obviously, like I said, the longer you charge this ability, the more faster you will go. Now, obviously, that doesn't reflect in the damage, but this is a great ability to utilize against other players, other teams, large carnivores, whatever the heck you feel like using a trike on. Now, you can see if you're able to pop it off fast enough, you have to get a little bit of a charge going. But you saw that that was a level 1 basic charge, and we didn't really go very far or very fast. So you can also utilize this ability to traverse the terrain rather quickly, since the truck is obviously not the fastest creature. And I feel like picking a fight with the Alpha Raptor was not the smartest idea we've had today. So, uh, yeah, that's probably not the smartest. Oh, wait, nope, he's stuck here. So you'll see here that... The longer you charge it up, like I said, you saw how fast we were before. Obviously, we're going far slower now because we didn't charge it all the way up. But if we were to charge it all the way up, we would go faster. You can essentially use this ability to cover the terrain a lot quicker since the trike is obviously not the fastest. You can see there, that is his sprinting speed. It's really not that great. However, with this new ram ability, charge ability, whatever the heck you want to call it, it's a great way to traverse the terrain. As well as that, it looks like his attacks have been updated because I don't remember being able to hit creatures behind you while being on the trike. So do take that into mind. Now... One other ability, which I don't know why it didn't trigger for the Raptor, it really should have considering it triggers for some of the larger carnivores, is that it gains a bit of a, a boost. It gains a rivalry buff. So essentially when you face larger carnivores, anything I'd say larger than a Kano, which we will test once this Alpha Raptor either kills us or we kill it, essentially what this rivalry buff does is it increases the health of the trike as well as the damage output, and it decreases the damage taken for the truck. So its health is increased by 10%, and its damage is increased slightly, and its damage taken is reduced slightly. So essentially, you can use this guy to go around killing Rexes and Spinos and whatnot, and you'll get a buff while facing them. So it's a great way. Wait, wait, can you seriously wrap up? It's so buggy sometimes. So the truck has about... 4,000 health, just shy of 4,200 health. So once we spawn in a carnivore for the trike to get the rivalry buff, the trike's health should technically go up to about a 4,600. 4, Essentially, that's how much it should go up because you'll get about a 410 health boost. But we're going to spawn in the higher level carnivore now, and we're going to see just how much of a powerhouse the trike really is. Alrighty, so the Rex is spawned in, and you can see that the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, hold on. Hold on. And you can see that the trike has a little bit of red aura around it, and it does a lot. Well, not a lot more, but we were right about the health buff. You can see that it's at 4,500, and it also deals the increased damage. 127 damage is how much we were not hitting for the Alpha Raptor. I think we were hitting like 102. So that's about a 20%, not a 
yeah, I'd say that's about a 20% increase in damage, if my math serves me correctly. But it's great because the trike still has the knockback ability, so you can easily keep knocking back the large carnivores that you face with this rivalry buff. And, you know, you get the health bonus, you get the damage increase as well as the damage decrease, which is great just in case you miss those attacks, you do still take the decreased damage. But you can essentially keep one of these larger carnivores at bay for, for the entirety of the fight. Now, you can see in the top right corner that the rivalry buff has triggered, so this just proves that against the larger carnivores, the trike does gain the rivalry buff, and you can see that we're actually able to keep it back. Now, one part of me that I do wish the trike got was the ability to bleed creatures, because obviously you can't bleed them, but we're going to charge up here on this Rex. It didn't work, it didn't go off, but, you know, you can still incapacitate them, which is great, because you obviously can just, you know, incapacitate creatures. Jeez, that was a 145 Rex. You can incapacitate the creatures and just finish them off with the trike, even run away from them with the trike. You'll see here shortly that this Pteranodon will actually go flying away, because we'll bump into him so hard that he'll just get knocked back. You see here, boom. Okay, that wasn't as far as I was expecting, but still pretty far. Alrighty guys, that'll conclude today's video and all the TLC creatures. Let me know what you guys thought of the video down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I can't wait to get into breeding some of these trikes later down the road. But other than that, thanks very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. I got this soda.